Jasper and I'm seven years old. On Sundays I stay with my mom and Saturdays we hang out with my dad, my two brothers and my dog and mom. Hi, my name's Doug. I play center for my high school team. I'm the guy that snaps the ball every play in between his legs and then block people. I'm Hannah. I play with my dog. I listen to music. I love going outside and just looking at nature because I enjoy photography and I like taking pictures of everything around me. My name is Peter. This is Harlem. I live right here, right in the corner. I like playing basketball. Also baseball, that's my main sport, and I live a great life. I'm 18 years old and I have MS. I'm 17 years old and I was diagnosed with MS. I'm 14 years old and I have multiple sclerosis. It hurts. Your head hurts. I have MS. And I, and I forget stuff, and my, sometimes my legs hurt, and, and I can't see. I woke up and I could not feel my lower half. It was completely numb and I was very confused. He was sitting in front of a 40-inch television, 10 feet away, and said, you know, if I close one eye, I can hear the people, but I can't see them on the TV. And then it turns out you know, it was optic neuritis, so I go to the hospital and they had me, you know, in an MRI machine and they saw the lesions on my brain and they came and told my parents that I had MS. So then my parents came into the room and told me. And at first, you know, it was really scary because I didn't know anything about it whatsoever. MS is a disorder where your immune cells have made a mistake and our job is to give you medications to correct that mistake. It's really important that you understand that you are not dying you are not in danger, and that when you have an attack, you have a team of people that will help you get over that attack quickly. In the beginning, I thought that I fractured my head or something else. And yeah, very confused because I, I never had these things. When I first heard I had MS, I was very confused and terrified because I didn't know what was going to happen to me. It's difficult to deal with. Anyone who has it understands that. You know, anything with your brain, you know, it controls your whole body, so that can be kind of freaky. Typically, after being first diagnosed, there's a lot of worry and anxiety. So I usually tell my families that this is a lifelong disease. We don't have a cure for MS, but we do have treatments. And treatments can reduce the symptoms significantly and the number of relapses. And we have good ways to help prevent now long-term disability. When I first found out Joshua had MS, I was a little confused. I didn't know too much information on MS. I also, from past experiences with other doctors, misdiagnosing him and just brushing me off so much that when he was diagnosed with MS, it was hard for me to take that in. We didn't know what the future might hold. I wish I'd known everything I know now to eliminate some of that fear that we felt those first couple of days. The National Multiple Sclerosis Society has a wealth of information to help children, teenagers, and their families find informed and accurate information about multiple sclerosis. I went to the MS um, Society webpage and I started pulling up information. I would say to another parent, use the resources, use the support that are out there because there's a ton of information. What other things you want people to know about MS though? My doctors help me. You have people who support you emotionally, physically, in terms of the medical team who helps with the medications, the therapists who help with the rehab and the strength and balance components, the nutritionists who help guide things, the school specialists who help intervene when things are needed at school. It really takes a village to help a family who has a child with MS. Once she had the diagnosis of the MS, I think my initial concern was what would her future look like? Once I got the information that I needed from the people I needed to get it from, I was really okay with it. And it was more about supporting her and helping her make good decisions about her treatment because they gave her a lot of different treatment options. 
Las indicaciones que me dio la doctora era que teníamos que estar seguros cuál medicamento iba a ser eh, bueno para él, o sea, que le probara, porque no todos los medicamentos para la esclerosis múltiple le prueban al paciente. Mediante análisis de sangre fue que determinaron el medicamento que él estaba calificado y hasta ahora le ha ido muy bien. So the one way that MS has affected my day-to-day -day life, um, really the only thing is doing my nightly injection. At first I wasn't really able to pull the trigger and do it on my own. So I went to a sports psychologist and he helped me come up with the idea of using the football cadence to kind of help me pull the trigger because when that quarterback said go or hike, that's a time where I have to go. And now I'm completely sufficient on my own with it. For 23 hours and 55 minutes of the day, I like to pretend that I don't have MS. And then the five minutes of the day that I do have MS, it's just the five minutes when I'm doing my medicine. Who is your favorite superhero? Oh, I'm gonna say mom, because I'm your superhero. <laughs> I want every parent to know that it's okay, that some days are gonna be better than others. Every day it's a new day for them. Always be there for your child. Let them talk, let them tell you their fears, their worries. The biggest thing I think is just communication in the family. And there's hope, there is hope. It's important that you know you are not alone. There are other teenagers and children living with multiple sclerosis, and the National MS Society and other resources can help you connect with other teenagers who can help you through this journey as well. Some advice that I would have for somebody that is um, newly diagnosed is, to be honest, just keep living your life. If any of those negative thoughts start to slip in your mind, you know, think about them and think them through and then just let them go. It's not healthy to just bottle stuff up. I mean, you can't let this disease define who you are. Do not panic. It can be a serious problem, but it's not the end of the world. Try not to focus on it too much, because the more you focus on it, the more stressed you get. Talk to people about it if you need to. Don't ignore it. If you're like worried about something or you think something could be wrong, obviously bring it up to your doctor or your friends or your family. There will be bumps along the road, but we're a team and we can manage things together. There are really no limitations. You can be a doctor, lawyer, engineer, astronaut, teacher, but there's nothing that you can't do and we can work together to help overcome any challenges that occur. When I look in the mirror, I see the strongest person that I know. I mean, I see myself, I see a strong person, somebody who's resilient. I like to think I'm pretty good looking too. I hope that Joshua lives a beautiful life, full of excitement, and that he stays healthy for the rest of his life. El futuro de Peter está comenzando. Todavía a mí no me ha definido que él realmente quiere estudiar, pero sí quiero verlo graduado de la universidad. Pero no más graduado, sino más bien feliz. Lo que me interesa es que Peter sea feliz con lo que quiera hacer, pero que sea feliz. What you're doing is extremely brave. It is not easy to be told that you have multiple sclerosis, to be told that you might have neurological symptoms that come and go over time. What you're doing is brave in taking your medications as you're asked to, and making the changes to your life that you're asked to, but we're doing this together as a team. One thing that MS has taught me about myself is that I'm definitely a stronger person than I really thought I ever could be. I'm brave. Because I go to the doctor and do tests, and I'm not scared. The MS doesn't stop me, just saying. I just feel like a normal kid, and that's it. MS has made me a stronger person. It's just made me think that I can get through anything after I've been told that I have MS. I can accomplish anything that I set myself to do.